Thanks for tuning in to your day off podcast, hosted by your boys, Corey and Tony. I think by the end of today, I might have another best friend. They're committed to making you fall in love with the hair industry, one podcast at a time. Uh, you're going to grab a lot of information. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot. Presented by Hair Industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Your day off podcast will begin after a word from our sponsors. And of course, I'm sitting with my best friend, Tony. What's up, buddy? What's going on, brother? Nothing. I'm excited about the uh, the conversation today. Uh, once again, it's uh, one of our one of our oldest friends in the podcast world that, that that's always looking out for us. Yeah, we, we met at our very first live show. At Premier Orlando. Yep. Which was was, that show. was such a crazy weekend because like. I know, I know we talk, we've talked about it before, but the pressure that I felt that weekend was incredible. It was like, I knew that that weekend, because that was six months into starting the pod, or five months really starting the podcast. And I knew that from that moment on, like, it was either going to make or break us that weekend. Like we were either going to be relevant and people cared about a podcast in the industry because you know what, 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 what a lot of people forget is that before our podcast, there wasn't a lot of podcasts there, you know, in yeah. the, as a matter of fact, when when I would pitch the podcast to people, a lot of the a lot of the you know big people that we had on, I put that in quotations mark, but but the people that we had on, I had to pitch what a podcast was because even as even as soon as 2018, a lot of people didn't even know what a podcast was, and I had to kind of explain to them that it was an internet radio show. And kind of what's cool with that because you know we had a goal of hitting 10,000 by the end of year one of downloads, right? And so on our way to premiere, we were at 5,000, so we're halfway through the year, we're at 5,000, woo, and then. We did premiere and then something magical happened because by the end of that year, from premiere to the end of the year, we ended up with 145,000. So we ended up at 150,000 downloads, uh, exceeding uh, us by 140,000, you know. <laughs> <But> it, <laughs> so more of the story is like, go, make sure you go network, you know, get involved and uh, get out of your comfort zone and, and make sure you meet people. That make sure you meet people. And and that's it. what a great transition, Tony. Would throw it up to me. So that weekend we got to meet our who's become a dear, dear friend of ours. Um uh Mariah. Mariah, damn it, I mess your last name up all the time. What is it? Oh, Valeria. <laughs> <laughs> so we met Mariah that weekend, and and what's been amazing about our relationship with Mariah and why she always has a really special place in my heart is that. We're, we're getting to work with her, but she's also invited us to do other things that just didn't make sense for, for us. So instead of giving up on us or, you know, whenever she did something cool, she would invite us. And this time we get to do beauty with a purpose, which sounds so incredibly within our brand um, that um, that it just made sense for us to do it, Tone. Yeah, I mean, you know, if if anybody I mean, if you're listening and, you know, uh, Maria, it's you know her heart and her heart is a it's, it's just a, an outpour right she just flows out she she she's just a a, a sweet I, we even met her mom and her mom's is very it's the same way I, every time i see her right now i'm like how's mom you know what i mean her mom is just as genuine and, and sweet and i got to sit next to her one, and and during one of uh, Maria's, uh you know her classes and you know she's just such a like hearted person uh that you know there's, there's no way that we can't connect no no there's no way i mean you speak about like a living heart forward that's mariah so uh anyways i i want to get into it i want to talk about the uh the weekend that we're going to be we're going to be in chicago back up woo, september 17th we're going to be in chicago uh, beauty with a purpose um we're gonna uh tony and i we're gonna get the chance to tell our story a little bit which we don't really get to tell um we we, we when we started the podcast it's always been about the people on the other side of the camera not on us um and and that's been really important to us but uh but we're gonna get the opportunity to kind of tell our story a little bit and then i'm excited to do that um on a stage and in front of people and then after we get to tell our story a little bit we are going to um have a panel and you and i are going to be moderating the panel um with with a couple of the most amazing um stories you know people and stories in the industry and and what an honor it will be to sit on stage um with them but uh but miss mariah welcome back to your day off 
Thank you for having me. You know, I love you guys with all my heart. And what you guys are doing for the industry is just so powerful. So powerful. I love what you do. You uplift the world and the stylists and the barbers. And that's why we get along. We have the same passion, the same drive. Yeah. <laughs> the we, same drive. And we talked about this before. Like when we did when we did our first podcast with with her, she halfway through the podcast, she got up and left. Uh, and but <laughs> that do half the podcast was was so impactful and so powerful, and you knew uh, that you know a lot of times halfway through a podcast, somebody leaves, you might not ever see them again, right? But she was so so sweet and impactful that you know she became definitely uh, a lifelong friend. Yeah, for yeah, sure. Uh, can you tell everybody that the reason I left was? I told you guys I was going, I, I had to catch a flight. We had a powerful, powerful conversation, but we talked way too much and I was late to my airplane. So I had to leave. Yeah. Did, you miss, really awesome. did you miss that flight? No, I, I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it, but I was close. I was running, running, but it was worth the run. It was that, worth the run. <laughs> that's amazing. So, so Mariah, tell us about like, um, like, uh, again, September seventeenth in Chicago. Tell us about Beauty with a Purpose and 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 how you and Julie. Well, you, you bring Julie in. She's your buddy. Yes, guys, everybody, meet my dear, dear partner, Julie. She is an amazing, amazing partner. She owns the Daisy Foundation, and we came up with the Beauty with the Purpose together. And the reason we came up with this is, you know, we've been partnering for many years together um, with her nonprofit, and what she has done with her nonprofit has been really powerful, and we'll get to that in a minute, but um, we wanted to bring it to the beauty industry, and it's you know, I, I do a lot of keynote speaking for uh, salon centric and I teach, you know, business and motivation and next level mindset. And the number one thing that people want to hear from me is how all the mistakes that I did. I see the, the twinkle in their eyes and they, the desperation of learning all of my mistakes so they don't commit them. So, you know, when we were putting this together, I said, you know, I have some ideas of bringing the whole beauty community together. And, and we came up with Beauty with a Purpose and it's everyone that comes on stage is going to be sharing their blueprint to success, their successes and their failures. No bullshit, <laughs> everything straightforward. <laughs> but I'm gonna bring Julie in. Um, I want her to tell you guys a little bit about her nonprofit and what she does but I can't wait to have you both on our stage. Um, you guys are going to be incredible. We can't wait to be there. Welcome, welcome to the show, Miss Julie. Thank you, Mr. Corey, Mr. Tony. We are honored to be with you guys today. Um, such a blessing you guys are to us, and we love everything that you're doing, as Maria said, for the industry. Um, we are, gosh, I wear multiple hats, but Daisy is certainly near and dear to me. I am a for founding board member of the Daisy Foundation, and um, we have um, been in inception for seven years. We celebrated seven years on July 21st of um, truly making impact in the community in a huge way in Chicago, Houston, and Milwaukee, and we're known for random acts of kindness, um, supporting um, women and children specifically in overlooked communities across the nation. And it's certainly been our joy um, in order, you know, in doing this. And so fast forward, um, Marie and I were connected through one of my board sisters, beloved board sisters, and our relationship truly has just taken off from there. Um, Maria's organization, Pink Pewter, which is known all over the world um, for hair accessories, um, was certainly one of our um, initial, uh, I should say, sponsors for Daisy and certainly has been a blessing, touched so many lives. And so I invited Maria to one of our Mother's Day makeovers, one of our first ones, actually. And, and they had been giving. I'm like, no, you need to come. You need to be a part of this. You are a cosmetologist. And not only do I want Pink Pewter to support us, but I want you to interact and love on the moms and zhuzhush. And what that means, um, Tony and Corey, is make you look pretty. Um, zhuzhush some of the moms and make them feel so good. And so certainly when our barbers, 
and our stylists and all of our beauty um, experts touch us and love on us. It's just a whole different feeling. And so um, she certainly gave that to so many moms that we're really going through. We work with tons of non-for-profits across the country um, in order to pull through our vision. And so at that time, we were working with 30 nonprofits that supported women who were going through medical adversities and women adversities. And this has been an annual thing that we've done. And we've had to pivot, of course, during the pandemic in, in order to be safe and responsible. But we've brought back our Mother's Day makeover. We've got more things happening that'll be loving on a lot of different people. Stay tuned. Um, but we're super, super excited to partner with Beauty with a Purpose. It's truly going to be a day of empower, um, empowerment, um, definitely inspiration, development, networking and connecting, but most importantly, give back at the center. And so we cannot wait to touch lives in a huge way. We can't wait to make a difference. And we even listed so many incredible speakers, entrepreneurs. I mean, like, the list goes on and on, including our very own Corey and Tony. Yay. And they're going to, y'all are going to give, and our speakers are going to give truly the blueprint of success, of failures, of mountains and valleys. And we all four of us know that it is not glitz and glams all the time. And so despite what Instagram and all the other social media outlets and TikTok and all these other ones want to exhibit, it's not that way. And anything worth having, we have to work hard for. So we want to create this day of exposure um, for our the next generation and even the generation that you sit on and say, listen, it's not too late. As long as you have blood flowing through your body and you're alive, that means you have purpose and you have reason for being here. And so all of our all of our speakers that we've enlisted to come and assemble on this stage, on this Beauty with Purpose um, stage, truly has a heart for people, for give back, for excellence. They have a proven track record of success and they have, they have earned the right to share their story mm. of success. And yeah. so we were very, very thoughtful and strategic and intentional about who we selected because we didn't want anyone coming up, putting on airs and how perfect life is and all this kind of stuff. We wanted people to be vulnerable and real and authentic. And certainly that's what the two of you guys exude. I mean, like just knowing you just for a short, but I feel like I've known you for 30 years already. Um, <laughs> but you certainly exemplify that. And we wanted to make sure that we created that space of safety, but also authenticity to say, listen, you can make it. Let me be the testament of, listen, it wasn't always like this. I didn't always have all this money or whatever you guys think this is. It wasn't all like that. And with light and action and camera also comes heat and controversy and different things that come with it. So we're so happy that all of our guests and our Speakers are going to share the story and illuminate what should be illuminated is us being the best version of ourselves and working in purpose and not in other people's purposes, but their own purpose. Mm, this is like an event that that like what, what we talked about in, in the opening of the intro of this podcast. I mean, it's an event. And if you can make it, there's going to be so many people there that you can network with, that you can meet, that you can just ele help elevate yourself by attending. Everybody needs a mentor. Agreed. And we got every level of mentors on that stage. From graduating beauty school, you need a mentor. From a, go, becoming a stylist, you need a mentor. Opening up a salon, you need a mentor. Opening up several salons, you need a mentor. Becoming a brand, you need a mentor. Talking on stage, you need a mentor. And this is a big representation of help. It's going to help you get elevated. And it's going to help you in every level of your career. This is definitely, the beauty world is so gigantic, guys. You could do so many powerful, powerful things in the beauty world. And look at you guys. You got you guys are the podcasters. Like, you're barbers and stylists. And you have your own station. This is, you know, your side hustle. Everybody needs a side hustle, right? Everybody needs a passion. And we just, we're just movers, shakers, motivators, and you know, we we want to create this movement for people to empower themselves. I tell you, I, I'm a little envious of you two because um, since early, early on in the podcast, Tony and I often talked about how cool would it be to put together an event that felt like a TED Talk? You know, like I've spent so much time on TED Talks. I was like, how cool would it be like TEDx hair? And, and even though, you know, it's not branded as TEDx hair, this is kind of what it sounds like to me and what you're going to get out of the weekend. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, I, this is the second time I hear about TED, TED Talk. I have not heard of I I need to go look for it. Oh, my gosh, Amazing. Mariah. Amazing. I don't know if we can yeah. be friends anymore, Mariah. Come on. Right. Oh, my gosh. You got to look <laughs> it up, Mariah. It's, it's, I got to look it up. Do you know that I work like 24 seven? Oh, I yeah, work yeah, yeah, I'm aware. days a week. Yeah. I have, that's all I do. <laughs> Does your car have like a TV. hole at the bottom where you run with your feet to get it going? And <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. it. I don't watch TV. <laughs> that's amazing. So, um, so, so Mariah, you brought up that, uh, you were bringing up mentors and you were like, if you need, if you want to, you know, do all these things, you need a mentor. And then you talked about, if you want to get on stage, you need a mentor. And and Tony Mines' mentor for getting on stage, I know your mentor for getting on stage is our dear friend Ben Mollen. I am so excited to be working with Ben. He's the he's the he's the master he's the master of the master of ceremonies. Um, and if you you've never had the opportunity to watch Ben work, it's magic. It's incredible. Um, uh, d- tell us a little bit about Ben and and, and him coming out and stuff like that. One hundred percent. I'll tell you the story um, so everyone can understand why I believe in him so much. So many, many years ago, I got asked to be a keynote speaker for a woman in business event in Kentucky. And they said, Mariah, we would love for you to come and speak. Your story is so powerful and we want to honor you. I said, "Uh, I don't know if I could do that. I'm very honored that you think this, but I don't know if I could do that. She's like, I've never done public speaking before, and I don't know if I can. She's like, please, please, please. My mind's saying no to me, guys, because I my, my biggest fear is public speaking. It was. And I hung up the phone. I said, I'll call you back. I, I told my husband about the opportunity, and he said, you are going to do it. You have a strong story. People need to hear your story because you're, you can help so many people. You came from nothing. You became something. And people need to hear your life. I go, what's wrong with you, he said. So fast forward, um, he says, you know, you need a coach. You, maybe you need a coach to get on stage to get that fear out of, and shake it off of you. So we hired Ben Molin, and uh, he told me exactly what he did. And he, he told me, he goes, we're going to train for a couple of months and I'm going to teach you a lot of different things so you could be confident on stage. He taught me for three months, guys, nonstop. I was determined to get on that stage with no fear. I, uh, he taught me how to breathe. He taught me how to change my mind. He taught me how to be confident. And I didn't think that was going to be possible until that day. I remember getting up on that stage and you know, I had the knot on my throat. I got on that stage. I looked at everyone, but he taught me how to look at areas where I didn't get to see what the reactions. So, because that's a distraction, right? So I get, get on that stage and I delivered such a powerful message. I had people crying, which I thought I said something wrong. I, I had a standing ovation. And at the end I said, Boom, by fear. <laughs> Public speaking is definitely um, something very fearful for a lot of people. And Ben Molin is definitely someone to hire to help you get to the next level. And he helped me get there. And I talk about him in every event. And I had to had, had to have him come and he's going to be our host. And uh, he's going to be amazing. He's going to share the way he taught me. And he, he's going to teach everyone because everybody needs it. Beauty school students, hairdressers, even public people. Like, serious, the confidence of building up is something really important. And uh, he definitely is uh, a disruptor. For that. Disruptor he is. You know, it's really exciting because uh, Tony and I, we're actually going to fly in a day early just so we can spend the day with Ben because uh, he's become such a great friend of ours that I'm really looking forward to the opportunity just to hang out with him. Mariah, I'm gonna, uh, I am I heard your story a little different, so correct me if I'm wrong, but so your husband says we need to hire a mentor. And the story that I heard was the first person you went to was Mr. Sam Via and asked him for some help. And Sam said, this is the story I heard, and Sam said, if you're going to hire some when you need to hire Ben Mollen. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> yes. Which Everybody is- knows Ben Mullen. Everybody knows Ben Mullen. Everybody knows And ben. everyone in our in our event needs to see him also. Yes. Yeah, for sure. For sure. That's a- <laughs> yes. I, I have one more thing about Sam Villa. So 
he always said, Mariah, when I, when I first started speaking, he said to me, Mariah, one thing that I'm going to give you advice, make sure that when you're on stage, make sure that it's not about you. It's about them. Mm. And that touched me. And it is so true. Everything that you do in life has to empower other people. Your stories, you know, will empower them. And it has to, you know, they have to understand it and they have to see how that is lived through. So I, I, I love him for, for sharing that. Yeah, we we love Sam. Sam had when Sam did our show last year, um, to watch it first off to it's really cool to kind of like see Sam a lot because you start to learn the process in which he presents, you know, so it's no longer this this big star on the stage. But but and I guess what I'm looking for him is like, how does he do that? Right. Because he has such command of the stage. But the one line that that really stuck out to me was like, I'm going to give you 120 percent. All I ask for return is that you give me 60. And I thought like, oh, what a power line. Right. Just give me 60 percent. I'm going to give you the rest. No way by that. Right. It's incredible. So, so incredible. So, uh, so, uh, Julie, so I was going through the list of who's going to be there and I don't really know this person, but I'm way intrigued by a, by a barber named Larry. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Larry Roberts. Tell us about Mr. Roberts. Yes. So Larry is, um, such an extraordinary, um, human being. I um, actually met him through our Beauty with a Purpose event, but um, he didn't know that I was kind of a fangirl of him um, and his just heart for community. And so I learned of Larry about six years ago um, through one of my favorite pastors and um, motivational speakers, um, Pastor Hannah. And he literally gives hope and life and light to individuals who are incarcerated. And so Larry is a barber by background. Um, He founded Larry's Barber College on the South side of Chicago. There's multiple locations. Um, And he's even created a partnership with Walmart to also have barber salons um, in the inner city. And so what he does is he has a partnership with Will County Jail Systems, which is a suburb, which is the suburbs of Chicago and also Cook County Jail Systems, which is actually in the city of Chicago. And he basically sets up the curriculum and program for the barbers to be licensed once they have committed and served their time. And so he not only creates that opportunity of exposure, of of experience, and an opportunity to have a trade and a career once you've graduated and served your time, but he also sets them up for success afterwards, where they have an actual outlet to go to to have stream of income coming in. Because for those that don't know, um, when you've been incarcerated a lot of times, you don't have the accessibility as someone who does not have a record. And so it stifles a lot of individuals. And I was so inspired by him. I literally took a screenshot and said, I'm going to work with this man. I don't know how or when. Um, Daisy, we're going to figure out some way to partner with him and to give back. And fast forward, here we are six years later. And Maria and I developed this, this huge vision for Beauty with a Purpose. We literally laid it out to present to our board to say, hey, we've got to do this. We've got to create this exposure for so many artists and individuals who have a passion for beauty. And literally, this is what's happened. And, and we believe that the greatest pathway to success is exposure. So imagine being in the room. Imagine being able to come up to a Corey, to a Tony, to, to a Larry. To say, listen, you know, we're serial entrepreneurs, we're barbers, we started off just like you. We didn't have all these millions and millions of dollars, but we had heart, we had drive, we had execution, and we knew what we we wanted to do. We knew what we were passionate about. We figured it out. We figured what we would do out for free. And to hear that and be in the room, it's going to create a synergy. And so what we're doing, um, Tony and Corey, Daisy Foundation, um, part of our partnership with Pink Pewter, has committed to giving monies to Larry's Barber College to fund the continuum of him of creating exposures in the city of Chicago and beyond, because we just, it's our heartbeat, it's who we are, we're going in communities in need, 
and he is creating that need. I call him the hope dealer. He doesn't even know I say that about him, but <laughs> the dealer of hope in a positive way. And if we could have more Larry's um, in this world, it would be a better place. And he started off just like a barber, just like so many others, but he, he didn't forget where he, where he came from. He didn't despise small beginnings. He rate, he raised to the occasion and, um, and it really, the sky is the limit and he has touched thousands of lives and he's continuing to create opportunities outside of barbistry to make sure that the black and brown community have the same opportunities as others. And I'm grateful for him. And I hope he is overwhelmed and you guys are overwhelmed with your platform, with overwhelming blessings for creating an opportunity of exposure for others, because that's what it's about. Well, first off, I cannot wait. What'd you say, Tone? I said exactly what you said. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> I can't wait. To, yeah, I can't wait to meet him. And I can't wait to like, I can't wait to meet him and then bring him on the podcast because I have so many questions about his story that um that it would be unfair to ask now. But uh, however, Julie, have you made him a, a, a ball cap that says Hope Dealer? I'm going to, and he's going to have to pay <laughs> dividends and then we're going to give it away with Daisy and Pink Pewter Foundation. So Larry, when you listen to this, we're going to tag you on this podcast. You do this. We've got another conversation we got to have. Yes. But no, I think he is. I think that is part of his assignment. And um, I'm just so glad that I was graced to be in his space and to be connected with him. And um, we need more thousands of Larry's and so many others that are, you know, are truly advocates that are change makers, that are history makers, because this is history. No one's gone in and do, um, set this up. No one has partnerships with Cook County jail systems to do something out of the box like this. And so I just, my prayer and my hope is that he continues a continuum and he does this across the world. And Daisy Foundation, I know Pink Peter Foundation, we're going to both support in every way that we possibly can to pour back into the community and be that blessing. Well, I'm I'm going to call out all the brands right now. So I'm going to call out Andis and I'm going to call out Babilis and I'm going to call out Wall and I'm going to call out whoever else, Oster or whoever else that I'm, uh, that I'm missing. But you should be supporting this guy. You know, you should be supporting this guy. You should be um, um, uh, helping him out to be able to create and to change lives. You know, it's one thing to support a person that 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 has a big following and stands on stage, but but you know, support the guy that's out there making a difference. So, you know, I'm going to call and I'm and I'm going to put an I'm going to put an extra special asterisk on on Andis because I know that Andrus is a very proud Chicago land um um product company, and I also know that their family that they're a family owned company. Um, so a, a, a definitely an extra asterisk to Andis and 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 please support your Chicago land. Uh, uh, people, you know, you know, what's really exciting about this is as I go through the whole list, it's not just Larry, but there's a lot of different people that, that, that we get to work with. Um, one of my favorite people on earth is the popular nobody. So I'm really super excited to, to stand. Actually, I'm not excited to stand next to him because he dwarfs the entire, like, place. <laughs> <laughs> but, but my man, John Mosley, I, I adore John Mosley. He is like the teddy bear of all teddy bears. Um, I can't yes. wait to be in the room with him. I can't wait to like, you know, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, whenever we're at shows, everyone's so busy and I get to see John kind of in passing and it's like, what's up? You know, but for John, it's really what's up. Um, but, oh, what teddy bears like John's like a grizzly with a koala bear mentality. Yeah. You know what I mean? sure. Like he looks <laughs> frightening and scary, like, but just as sweet as can be. Yeah. For sure. I can't yeah, wait to I actually spend some quality yeah. time with John. Um, and I, I know that we're going to be on stage with him. So I'm excited yeah. about that. Um, uh, I'm excited to support all those guys, but, uh, but uh, Mariah, um, you have another person on the billet that I'm really excited about. And that's our dear, dear friend, Lindsay Smith. Oh my God. Thank you for introducing her to us. She is incredible. C talk about connector. She is, uh, we told her she's going to be on our board for sure. And you guys are too, because the powerhouses, what we could do to make this beauty with the purpose more powerful. She is a voice. She is a voice. I never met anyone that types so fast and these large paragraphs. And I'm like, Lindsay, I'm not an email person. <laughs> and we got 10 emails a day from her. I love her. She's just connecting, connecting, connecting. She just connected us with Marlo Beauty. 
Panda, another powerful, powerful distributor. They just did an interview on us and I have to owe Lindsay um, all that credit. She she is, uh, you know, it's it's funny how we, we're, the beauty industry is so small. We know everybody. We know everybody. I never met Lindsay and I'm, I'm like, I wish I'd known her, you know, met for many years, but I feel like I've met her for many years. Um, but she has connected so many people and this is a great cause and it's a light. And, and I think people that are good people just keep on connecting and it just grows. And I, I love her. Thank you for that for introducing us. You know, you talk about good people. And I think what's happened in the industry, certainly since, I don't know, 2014, 2015, is that is that the individuals or the independent people and not not as far as independent, as far as like working in a suite or being an independent educator, just just seeing us as individuals in the industry. I think that's really grown. And I think what's happened is that it's created space for good people to get together. It's created a space for good people to work together. And I mean, if you look at a lot of the education that's out there with your event, with our event, with, with a lot of the events that are going on is that they are being brought to the forefront by independent people. You know, it's not like a big brand that's supporting. It's not a big brand that's, that's, that's face forward, but it's our faces as an in, industry that are face forward and i can't I, I i just had this big like thing of pride that went through me I, I got a little emotional i don't know if you heard it or not but um but but i'm really really proud of that as an industry and and, and it, it's really cool that that we keep finding good people once again i go back to john mosley you know like just that 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 this weekend is going to be about the goodness of the industry and and that's just like I, I, I kind of, once again, I said it earlier, I think I'm a little mad at you guys. Cause this is, you guys are, you guys are doing the dream that Tony and I have always dreamed of. And, and again, like, I'm jealous, but I'm also like, I'm high-fiving you because the industry, <laughs> this, and the only reason we wanted to do it because we knew the industry needed it and you guys are doing it. And I'm just, I'm so very proud of you guys. I'm so very proud of the industry. I, I, I'm so, so very excited to, to kind of make it happen. It, 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 uh, it, you're part of this baby doll. Yeah, you're yeah. part of this. This yeah. is yours too. You're the voice. Everybody on stage is creating this. We just brought everybody together and this is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And the give back is my passion yeah. and it's your passion too. We want every person that's in the beauty world to have the right knowledge to stay in the beauty. Okay. You go to, we've been going on, we've been going on tour to beauty schools and um, there's a lack of motivation and I'm going to hair salons too. There's a lack of motivation. And uh, when we go into these beauty schools, you know, they start off looking at us like this, right? With the hands crossed, you know, when the hands are crossed, you're like, okay, whatever, it's intimidating. You know, like, do I really need this? And by the time we're done, they're crying. And they said, you know, I wanted to quit. I didn't think the beauty world was where, you know, I was gonna be at. And thank you guys for sharing that I could be not only a hairdresser, but I could be a brand. I could be a motivational speaker. I could do whatever I want, but no one's in, no one's giving them that motivation and no one's giving them that knowledge. And even goes for the hair salons, you know, like you go in there, we're machines. We love what we do, right? I'm a hairdresser, guys. I love what I do. I create beautiful things, but we still need motivation. And what else can we do? All right, I need a side hustle. Okay, there's so many stylists that I know that are creating online education platforms where, you know, I know how to do braids and I'm selling my education online and making some money. But we have those people that are going to teach hair at beauty school students, salon owners to open up more salons or may, maybe opening online platforms where they could go and do bridal. I don't, there's so many things in, in the beauty world. And I'm just telling you, I'm here. We're here. We're all here to keep the beauty world strong and keep on growing it. So we are the number one industry. We are already, but we want to be more. We're, we're, everybody loves us when we're doing their hair, right? You know, we make them feel better. We empower our clients. And we got to keep these stylists in those chairs to keep on growing and making more revenue. And that is who we have on this stage to motivate, empower, give knowledge, and grow together. 
you know, when you yeah. were when you were saying that, it reminded me a little bit of like before we started the podcast, and and you know, I, I kind of like break it down to how I heard it is that um, sometimes in life you just need permission. You know, you need permission to be better. You need permission to to seek your dreams. You need permission to just do it. You know, and and honestly, here's the truth: is that I was listening to Gary Vaynerchuk, and he was like, "You need to start a podcast." And I heard that not not for him giving it to millions, but for him to give it to two, and that was Tony and I. You know, and 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 I took that permission, and and we kind of ran with it, and it literally changed our lives. You know, it literally, and 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 you know, the backstory to that is is that for years I was thinking about I wanted to start a podcast. I mean, I you know, I grew up listening to like radio and I loved, you know, all the radio people that I listened to. Um and I wanted to do it, but I couldn't figure it out. Well uh, Gary Vanerchuk said, just do it, bro. You know, gave me permission to do it, gave us permission to do it. And we just started it. So so I'm giving everybody permission to show up in, in Chicago and watch how, uh, watch how your lives can change. Cause, uh, cause, cause it seems like a weekend to, of, of, um, it seems like a weekend of permission giving, if that's weird. I'm going to, I'm going to share with you guys something that, that I wrote down as we were talking here. And, um, here's what I'm hearing, or here's how I see the weekend is that what you learn on this weekend and what you learn today is that, is that success is gained through the struggle, not in spite of it. You know, I, I don't wow. like the word I don't like the word failure necessarily because that means that we're stopping. But but understand that success is on the other side of the struggle, and it's never going to be any other way. And in this weekend, if this weekend at least what what Tony and I are going to bring is like let's talk about the struggles of, of pushing through, and let let's talk about what's what's on the other side of struggle because on this side of struggle we already know, but magic is on the other side of struggle. That's true. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. This is this Very, is a okay. movement. This is a movement. This is a life changing movement for people to come and see experience. And you know, if, if anyone is watching this, that is not a hairdresser, buy a ticket to someone that you know needs this motivation, mm -hmm. buy them a ticket. Seriously, sure. I think it's, it, it's gonna be a knowledge uh, full of empowerment it's a movement. I I'm really, really excited. I'm getting, we're getting phone calls from people. We don't even know brands that I've never even heard of that. They want to come and help serve. Now, if we're getting calls that we're not calling, we're onto something. Okay. We're onto something very powerful. And, uh, my heart is to give. And you guys already know that. I don't care about the money. I care for the money to give to the people. I care for the money for the people. And I'm gonna, and I'm not embarrassed to ask. I, I need it because I'm gonna give it. I need it because I'm gonna give it. <laughs> so it's funny you said ask. Our girl Crystal, uh, when we did a podcast with her, uh, you know, the answers is no, right? It's always no. So even if you ask and you get a no, you didn't lose anything. But there's that chance you might get a yes, you know, and you'll. It, it was so powerful when, when she was telling us this, Corey and I, every time we're not afraid to ask anymore, because if we get a no, we get a no, you know what I mean? But more times lately than often than not, we've been getting yeses. And and so can just I'd, I'd love your attitude of ask, ask, ask. And I love that, Tony. And I was going to say, too, is that you have not if you ask not. And you know what, for me, I have a, I don't have a beauty background just so in full transparency, but I believe that there's something for everyone and we can learn from others, um, successes and, you know, their highs and their lows to help propel us to be the best version of ourselves. But, you know, for me, having an extensive medical sales background is what actually what brought me to Chicago is that I always looked at no was not yet. Right. And then I can come back. Yeah. Because that means that that means opportunity, but it's a mindset and not taking it personal. It's just maybe not yet, but soon I'm going to get a yes. And with all those no's, rejection certainly leads to a yes. And it's not rejecting you. It's just not the right opportunity. But at the, at the appointed divine time, it will all align the way it needs to, and you will get a yes. So we're asking for you to take that yes and take that step and certainly join us. And I wanted to share, um, Tony and um, Corey, if I may, um, Mar Maria had talked about um, supporting and sponsoring a student and whether you're in the industry or not, but to support um, and sponsor someone else to be able to join us. 
we are so honored that so many companies are coming in and saying, you know what, how can we get involved and support this effort? And we have companies that are coming and supporting beauty schools to be able to attend this event. And it's just been absolutely tremendous, just the, just literally the movement of what give back and kindness looks like. And so and thank you guys. Go ahead. And to, sty and to stylists too. They're buying tickets yes. for stylists. Yes. yes. So <laughs> it's like bonds cool. that are purchasing, um, purchasing tickets for stylists. Beauty, I mean, there's beauty schools. I mean, there's, I mean, it's, you name it. And we're going on our barber, our, our barber tour as well. And so we're putting it out there that some barber students and barber, um, barber stylists are going to be able to, and barbers are going to be able to um, join us as well and a huge movement of that. So I think you just start with one yes to Tony's point and it's just going to spread. Well, like, wow. I know when you guys told us your story, we were touched and, and, and we felt it was uh, our due diligence to uh, to give back as well. So we, you know, hold on, Tony. Hold on, Tony. I'm going to set you up in just a sec because if, what I want to first do is I want to call. I want to call out. I want to call out um, uh, uh, school owners, salon owners. I want to call out brands that 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 they should get behind this and they should support some of the students and they should, and they should um, bring or, or buy a couple scholarships for, um, for some students there. Let's, let's impact as many young lives at the, this weekend that we possibly can and in commitment to that, Tony. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, hair to street and your day off podcast, we want to give back and sponsor 25 uh, students to, to come to the, to, to the event. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you. <laughs> big heart, awesome. big heart. I love you. <laughs> you know what? You came right on time. We're going on tour this Thursday, next Thursday, and the following Thursday. And you are definitely going to get overwhelmed with all the thank yous because we're going to brag to everyone that it's coming from you. Yes. Well, we're not, we don't, I mean, we're not, we don't care about that. We truly I know. care about those young people being able to come and and speaking of the young people, I'm going back to the to the to the the no thing. We when Corey and I started this podcast, we did a podcast. We interviewed uh, Gino Stampora in in a school, uh, Paul Mitchell the Temple in downtown Frederick, and we were doing the interview. And after that interview, this was this young kid that came in after and was just so curious of what we were doing. And then we just got in this huge conversation. Everybody else, I think, was a little nervous and they were afraid to ask or afraid to come in. But he came in and he told us who his mentors were. It was like uh, like Philip Wolf and, um, uh, and and others. And so when we got invited to the Modern Salon Digital uh, Summit, we were actually interviewing uh, the people that he mentioned. And it, during right after the podcast, hey, we like, could you do us a favor? We're going to call this young kid. And uh, he, he's actually, he was in the middle of class and uh, he's going to think it's from us, but if you guys could answer the the FaceTime, it would blow his mind. So literally that's what we did. And uh, he answered thinking it was us, but it was his mentors. And later on that year, he was able to come to a show and assist his mentors uh, and made that connection. So don't, don't be afraid to put yourself out, out of your comfort zone and walk up to your mentors or walk up to the people that that inspire you and introduce yourself. And you never know what that can uh, wow. turn out to be. Wow. I love you guys. Oh, good. You guys, see? See? So, see? This is just, it's meant to be. <laughs> you guys are incredible. You guys are incredible. This podcast is going awesome. I love you guys. No, we love you, Mariah. Hey, Julie, give us the give us the down low. So, where can people get tickets? How can they find us? How can they art find you guys? How can they get tickets? How can they? How can they? How can those brands and those barbers and those salons? How can they buy schol How can they buy scholarships for for some students? Like like, give us all the deets. Absolutely. So, the event again is Sunday, September seventeenth at the Hilton Suites in Oak Brook, right off of 88 and Midwest Road. So join us. It's going to be from 9 to 5 p.m. You can follow us at Beauty with the Purpose Foundation um, and also Daisy Foundation and Pink Pewter Foundation on all the Instagram and social media handles. And there is a link that will take you directly to the Ticket Hub. If you have any questions um, it's concerning the event, 
please email us at info at daisyfoundation.org. And Daisy is spelled D-A-I-S-I-E, not the one with the Y. That's a, other, a great another nonprofit, but not ours. And then also info at pinkpewterfoundation.org. And certainly um, our team will respond to you with any questions. If you want to sponsor a school, if you want to sponsor a salon, if you want to sponsor some individuals, let us know. Um, email us, direct message us on social media. We will respond um, expeditiously and very quickly um, to make sure that you're taken care of, to make sure that we can that we can pack the house. Everyone capitalize on all this hundreds and thousands of hours and years of wisdom, of success, of amazingness, of people who are proven, but most importantly, have a heart for others and blessing others to propel themselves to be the best versions of themselves. And that's what you will get. Networking, connecting, collaboration, partnership. And I will tell you, we have two, two sets of examples on this podcast right now of partnership. Corey and Tony had a vision with this podcast. Let them be the example of two amazing artists coming together with partnership with this podcast. That's an example. You have Maria and I. Now, Tony and Corey obviously had similar backgrounds, but they were able to unite, not compete, unite. And with us, our mantra is, is not to compete. We It's not competition, it's coopetition. And coopetition is working together for a movement to change. So Maria and I are another example of partnership. Two totally different backgrounds. I'm not from Chicago. She's from Chicago. You know, I'm not a stylist. She's a, an amazing stylist. I like magical hands. And I have a medical sales background. Our foundations came together. We wrote a vision out, put people at the center, beauty at the center, and all of this manifested. And when you do things with the right heart, with partnership, collaboration, not your own agenda or ego to pump yourself up, magic happens, blessings happen, the right people come, the right, the right organizations come to you when you do things with the right heart and the right spirit. And it's a movement. It's like, literally, it's like, it's like, it spreads like goodness. And it's like, it just all comes and works together for the good. And so we're just so grateful, um, Tony and Corey, for just this opportunity. Thank you for using your platform. Thank you for using your resources, your everything for us to make this happen. And I've got something up our sleeves. I can't say it on, on right now. The, uh, Maria will fire me as my co-pilot. <laughs> we'll tell you offline of some things we have coming for 2024. Corey and Tony will definitely be a part of this. Oh, but this will be an it, out of the box experience of give back at a whole different level. We can't get all this impartation and all this inspiration and empowerment and amazingness and then not go serve. That's just an injustice. And so we're going to be doing a lot more give back in 2024 with the beauty, um, with the purpose um, platform and leveraging all these amazing individuals who have truly a heart for people and the movement of beauty in a bigger way. So stay tuned. Ooh, can't wait. Can't wait. Yeah, listen, and and as far as being involved, we are just we are honored to uh, to, to to be to share space with you, Mariah. Uh, before we wind down, do you have anything that you want to chat about? I do, guys. Um, we are going to be giving, okay, uh, two scholarships, two full scholarships, one from Pivot Point, and one from Bar uh, Wall Barber School. A full ride. Wow. Details will be on pinkpewter.com slash BWAP 2023, Beauty with the Purpose 2023. And uh, you have to do a one minute video on why you deserve to have a full scholarship to these schools and uh, show your passion for the beauty industry. But we're gonna be giving not only that, but we're gonna also be giving Larry's Barbershop a scholarship and we're gonna be giving um, some grants at the event also. So guys, it's going to be a powerful weekend. All give back. That's our that's our passion. We want to help. We want to empower. We want to help everyone we can. And I'm just so grateful for everyone that is serving the beauty community. And uh, join the movement. 
join the movement and come to our event. That's awesome. We can't wait, Tony. Yeah. I'm just curious, uh, Joey, what beach are you at? <laughs> um, I'm, in I'm, Houston. I'm in the Houston Galveston beach, you know, Houston is my second, uh, second home from home in Chicago. And oh. so today I think I'm in Houston. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. I wish I was in Houston. I know. Come on. I, I wish I was near the water. It's not enough. There's nothing like H Town, okay? Nothing yeah. like H Town. I just want to say much love to both you guys and thank you guys for including us to, to your vision. We love you. Thank you guys. You know that. Honored. Honored. We can't wait to see you, but we'll be in touch. Call you later. We will chat soon. Miss Mariah, Miss Julia. Thank you, everyone. With the yeah. We can't wait to see y'all. <laughs> Thank you very, very much for joining us on your day off. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, share it with friends. Give us a rating and drop a review. To listen to all the latest podcasts, please subscribe from your favorite podcast outlet. And to stay connected on and off the show, you can follow us at Hair Distry on Instagram and all other social media platforms. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Peace and love.